Hey YouTube, so we're going to, uh, we just got in the new Lismondi G11 and came in five boxes here. Looks pretty well packed. Had to wait uh, about a month after I ordered it for them to actually make it and get it here. So uh, it's finally here and we've got a couple of clear nights coming up. So hopefully we'll be able to get everything programmed and hooked up and see what's going on with it. So the big box. This is obviously the tripod. And then we got the deck axis. Looks like the counterweight. Possibly the uh, uh, Gemini 2. The RA axis. And I think another counterweight. We'll find out here in just a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and start opening the boxes and seeing how well it's packed. And we'll get back to it. Okay, so we've got everything unpackaged and laid out here. We've got all the boxes over there. Put those into storage. Uh, I always keep all my boxes just to make sure, uh, just in the event I ever have to ship anything back or, you know, I, I've sold equipment in the past too, so it's always good to have the original packaging and everything for it, um, just in case. Uh, I will comment that this was extremely well packaged. I mean, very, very, very well packaged, very tight in the cartons, no signs of shifting, uh, no damage obviously, but you know, on other stuff I've got in the past, you can hear it rolling around and shaking in the box and you know, pieces kind of flying around everywhere, but this was definitely not the case. The, it seems like a lot of pride, you know, was put into their packaging, which uh, it's kind of impressive to me. Uh, this is the heavy duty mount for the G11. Um, very, very well manufactured. And very heavy, uh, very, very heavy. I was kind of surprised at the, the, the weight of me just trying to get it out of the box and then uh, extend the legs out. Um, it took some effort. But uh, I, I guess you know, if you have a lot of heavy payroll load, you definitely want a heavy, a heavy mount. I mean, that is some <laughs> thick-ass tubing right there. And solid. I mean, really solid. Um just from what I can tell, very, very well made, very well form fitting, stainless steel screws, stainless steel bolts. Uh, just very, very nice. Very, very nice. Um, there, it does not come with a tray. You can get a tray for it, and there's a, a hole in the center span there. There it is, uh, that you can mount a tray to. Um, I had a tray on my CGX and my AGX, but uh, I, I never really used them for holding eyepieces or anything. Uh, the only thing I really used them for was to hold the uh, power supplies for the camera and for the mount, but uh, my setup's going to be a little bit different this time, because I'm doing a lot of added equipment on it. Uh, these are the foot pads. It does not come with the foot pads. These are basically isolation pads, and they also glow in the dark. Um, so when you're out in a dark sky, uh, they'll glow, and you won't be tripping over your, your legs, which is... That's a nice feature, <laughs> just the fact that it glows, because I have definitely uh, stumbled over the legs a few times. Uh, these are the mounting brackets for the Gemini 2. Looks like they, uh, I'm not sure how they mount. I guess they're, yeah, they mount right there. There's a little hole right there. There's one on each side, and that holds the Gemini control box. Of course, we have the, the RA and the deck right there. And, uh, and I also bought, this doesn't come with it either, this is the extension kit, the RA extension kit, and that is to, uh, to pull it out a little bit further so that uh, your scope doesn't run into your legs, um, which apparently has been an issue. And it's also got a quick release on it. It's, uh, I'm not sure. Oh, it's actually together. I'll show you that later. Uh, but it's a quick release, so you can actually break these, the, the RA and the deck, you could actually break them into two different pieces, make it a little bit easier for transportation and, uh, and setup. So that, that's why I elected to go with that. Uh, it came with a 21-pound weight, which was nice. I also bought an 11-pound, uh, just in case. And as I get more equipment to put on there, I might need a little bit of extra counterbalance. The uh, Speaking of counterbalance, man, this counterbalance shaft... His uh, or the bar, uh, this thing is <laughs> this thing is stout. Um, you, you could man, you drop that on your foot, you're hurting right there. I mean, that thing is just incredible compared to the Celestrons. 
Um, there's the Gemini 2 control box. And uh, one of the nice things I liked about it was the fact that it had Ethernet. And uh, the idea is to run the Ethernet uh, back to the computer uh, for better, uh, better tracking adjustments, which uh, according to the website is supposed to be a, a very big deal with this because of the way this thing was machined and the high tolerances and the motors on it. Um, that you're supposed to get some really good tracking out of it. So I, I, I'm looking forward to testing it out and see what happens. That was also another feature on the new G11s was they went with inboard motors rather than outboard. And the problem they had with the outboards were you would hit the outboards if you weren't careful with the, the mount or the telescope. So all these are now tucked in, which uh, is good. Of course, I have no experience with the outboard motors, but... It just seems like that makes a lot of sense. We got a port for the uh, polar scope to go into. This is the cap. I just screwed it off for now. I did buy a polar scope for it, unless Monte polar, uh, a polar scope, excuse me. And uh, I'll do a video on that as well. Comes with instructions. Comes with a quick start guide for the Gemini. The uh, of course there's the the controller itself, and you have the keypad. Um, which there are a lot of videos from Les Mondi on as far as how to set up and work. And of course it's got the tactile feel buttons on the back of it, uh, which is also nice. But this is all touchscreen, so that'll be interesting to, to figure out here shortly. And again, I'll do another video on that. Comes with uh, the motor cables to go from the controller to the, uh, the motors themselves. Came with a set of Allen wrenches. And uh, that's really nice. That's pretty cool. All sizes. So uh, that's good to keep with the, the mount and everything together. So you got a set there. Uh, I've got four sets of these things, but uh, it's just nice to have extra ones. You never know when you drop one in the grass and you can never find it later. Comes with a 12 volt power cord. Uh, I did order an AC power cord. I waited for it to come in. And then, of course, it's got the uh, cable that runs from the box to the keypad. Now this is nice. This is nice. This is a long cable, long phone cable. And one of the main problems I always had with Celestron, both on the AVX as well as the CGX, was that those cables were just so short. And uh, you're either pulling on the cable pretty hard to you know to get it over to your table or your chair or whatever. Or, um, you know it would dangle. You know when you when you're connected with with your other wires going into it. But that's really nice. That is just really nice. That, that was thoughtful right there. Uh, counterweight, 21-pound counterweight. I don't know if I already showed you that or not, but there it is. And like I said, I got one extra just in case. So I'm going to start uh, putting everything together and see how it fits. And read the instructions real well and then uh, get everything together. Hopefully I'll get it together before uh, this evening and I can get it out in the backyard and put the uh, SCT on it and just see how it performs. I'm actually waiting on a refractor from uh, Explore Scientific, but we've had quite a few issues with that, and I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll do another video on that once it gets here. All right, be back in a bit.